you walk into a running shoe store to pick out a pair of shoes, you will be greeted with a colorful wall of all sorts of styles and brands. The choices can feel overwhelming. So it's often a good first step to narrow down whether you want to buy a neutral running shoe vs a stability running shoe. Neutral running shoes and stability running shoes are two of the most common types of running shoes. But when it comes to making the purchasing decision of buying neutral vs stability running shoes, many runners aren't sure which option to go with. In this video, we will discuss the characteristics of neutral vs stability running shoes and factors to consider when deciding whether you need a neutral or stability running shoe. Let's dive in! What are neutral running shoes? Neutral running shoes are basically running shoes that lack any type of stabilizing features. Rather than aiming to control your foot positioning in any sort of manner, neutral running shoes simply aim to provide flexibility for a smooth heel to toe transition and freedom to follow your natural strike pattern in the most unencumbered way. What are stability running shoes? In contrast to a neutral running shoe, which does not offer any type of stabilizing features or support, a stability running shoe incorporates materials and design elements that aim to guide your foot through the correct path of motion as you run. Stability running shoes help to control the amount of pronation, the inward rolling of the foot relative to the ankle joint and heel strike by providing support to the medial lateral arch of the foot. Now that we have the definitions clear, let's get into the ins and outs of neutral versus stability running shoes to see which are right for you. Getting the proper type of running shoe will not only enhance your comfort while you run, but it may also reduce the risk of injuries by optimizing your biomechanics and the lines of stress and application of force traveling up your legs. There are two primary factors to consider when trying to decide if you need a neutral VS stability running shoe, your arch height and flexibility and the degree to which you prone it. Arch height. In general, runners with high arches need neutral running shoes, while runners with low or flat arches need stability running shoes. High arches. When you have high arches, the foot tends to be more rigid, so it does not adapt and conform well to the ground when you land. Wearing a neutral shoe will help take advantage of the spring in the arch. Medium arches. Feet with a medium arch height are ideal in terms of flexibility, mobility, and natural path of motion during running. Low arches. If you have low arches or flat feet, your foot sits very close to the ground with little discernible space between the sole of your foot under the arch and the ground. Runners with flat feet or low arches tend to do better with stability vs neutral running shoes. Primarily due to the fact that if you have low arches, you must likely overpronate, and the stability running shoe will help align your foot properly so that you can get as much use out of your arch in its ideal position as possible. Overpronation Overpronation is usually so closely enmeshed with having flat feet or low arches that it's often just assumed to be the same factor to consider when deciding whether you need neutral vs stability running shoes. How to determine if you need a neutral running shoe or stability running shoe. So, how do you know if you need stability vs neutral running shoe? The best way to ensure you have the proper type of running shoe for your needs is to get a gait analysis at a running shoe store. Shoe fit experts will observe your running stride and make note of how your foot is landing upon impact. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.